Hello everyone, it's Natasha Red here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are starting off at the New Crest Castle. I know we've been at the New Crest Castle a lot, but we're not going to be here the whole episode. But in today's episode, we are going to discuss marriages because now that is an important topic because we had the heir announced for the New Crest Kingdom. So if you didn't watch the last episode, go watch it because this episode episode will be a spoiler if you did not see it. Click the link in the eye right now and it will take you to that episode. But if you did see that episode then you know exactly who the heir is and so the New Crests are meeting with the royal noble Baron and Baroness of New Crest and they are here now and we're going to have a discussion with them. So I put them in a room and had to kind of like makeshift the castle a little bit because I want them to have this conversation in private so this door will be leaving after this conversation but they're in this room right now and the new crests have called them over to discuss they don't necessarily know in full detail but in the last episode queen lauren did mention to baron cody that she wanted them to ponder the thought but i did not get to show you guys what princess clara and prince brayden look like now that they've aged up so let me show you them real quick because I think they both are really cute. So let's go see them. Okay, so we're taking a look at Prince Brayden first. So let's see what his traits are because the news of him becoming the heir has greatly impacted his life. So let's see what his traits are. He is self-absorbed and hot-headed, you guys. And his biggest goal is to be a mansion baron. That's very interesting and business savvy. So I think that he wants to be a good king, but now that he has this title of heir, he's a little bit arrogant about it, but we'll see how he acts among other people. So this is his formal outfit. Nice, nice, athletic, sleep, party, cool, hot boy summer, cold boy winter. And now let's see Princess Clara. Okay, let's see her daytime outfit. Okay, so this is Princess Clara's daytime outfit. Very simple, elegant. She's a bookworm. She's self-assured. She wants a successful family and she's domestic. She seems to be a little bit happier today than she was in the last episode. Here is her formal outfit. And since she is not going to become the queen, she will not wear a crown she will only wear a tiara and for the teens i didn't want them wearing the you know super utmost formal wear all the time because they do want to have a somewhat normal seat to themselves so she does look very nice but she's not too over the top here's her swimwear oh she a little scantily clad or whatever she's a little bit she's going through a little bit um emotionally so she's doing things that probably wouldn't necessarily always be approved of a royal here's her summer outfit and her cute little makeup she's so pretty right so yeah but because she is not going to be the queen again she will not wear a crown she will only wear tiaras so this is her winter outfit so now let's go ahead and go in. Okay, so Queen Lauren and King Fletcher again. We are with the Baron and Baroness of Willow Creek. This is Baron Cody Valdez and this is Baroness Carrie. Having conversations, you might notice a pattern that they don't like having tough conversations and they are very, very, very good friends, especially with the Queen but they're good friends in general with the New Crest family. And the king and queen have called them here because they want to discuss with them in regards to their oldest daughter, Lady Adeline, potentially marrying Prince Brayden since he'll be the heir, which would be beneficial to the Valdez family because then their daughter will be the queen which would be wonderful. You know, what more could you dream for for your child, right? So they're just discussing it, you know, letting the king and queen know how they feel about it. And Queen Lauren and King Fletcher, they're kind of a little bit nervous and acting a little bit more reserved today. They're trying to put on a front like they're not that nervous, but they are. But it seems like the conversation is going well. And the Baron and Baroness said that they don't want to force their daughter 
to be in a relationship she doesn't necessarily want to be in but they'll definitely propose the idea to her that she should give it a shot and see how she feels about Prince Brayden. So it seems like they're on board for it um, and they're not necessarily 100% ready to sign a agreement yet, but it seems like this conversation is going well. So they're like, let's just feel it out. So I think that we might have the daughter come meet Prince Brayden today. Well, they do, like I said, they do know each other, but you know, they're not super duper duper close. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So I don't know if you guys remember or not, but the new crest don't know it yet, but the Sultan and Sultana of Oasis Springs also wants to talk to the new crest in regards to arranging a marriage as well. So we're going to have them have that conversation. And I think that the Baron and Baroness are going to go home and discuss with their daughter to see how she feels about meeting up with Prince Brayden and getting to know him on a more friendly level first. And yeah, so I think that's what they're gonna go home and do okay so again they're feeling pretty good about it so i think that king fletcher is about to talk to prince brayden where is prince brayden yeah so king fletcher is about to talk to him just to see how he feels about it okay you guys so king fletcher and prince brayden are talking and it looks like king fletcher is having a conversation letting him know about lady adeline and saying that, you know, he would like for him to meet her soon. And he's not trying to put too much pressure on it because, again, you know, the Valdez family did not agree to it being forced. They don't want their daughter to feel forced to be with him. But, you know, just warming him up to the idea. Okay, so it looks like Queen Lauren wants to check in on Princess Chea. Or not, I'm sorry, guys. Well, she has so many kids, I get their names mixed up sometimes. She just wants to check in on her daughter and it looks like she's a little bit stressed out because she's still processing the fact that she is not going to be the heir. She just feels like it's not very fair that it was based off of nothing more than her being a girl. And so she doesn't want to crack on her brother's parade. Like she wants to be happy for him, but she is finding it very difficult and she's asking her mother why if you and dad could rule the country together why is it that you didn't think I was capable solely based off my gender like it had to have been something else that I had done or didn't do and she says you know Queen Lauren's like no honey I just really want you to understand that it has nothing to do with you and it was an extremely hard decision, but it's just not sitting right with Clara that the decision was made based off gender. So she is not thrilled about that at all. But yeah, Lauren's going to do the best that she can to try to comfort her. But in her mind, she's never going to be okay with that. Like she's probably going to always have a little bit of resentment for her parents because of that. So that's how they're feeling. So now we're going to head over to Oasis Springs so that the Sultan and Sultana can prepare for their meeting with the New Crest Monarch. Okay guys, so again, I just figured since you didn't get the best look at Prince Ajmal last time in the last episode, I just wanted to show him up close. Again, I had filmed a whole birthday party for him and everything, but the footage just wasn't there. So I apologize. But this is his everyday outfit. This is his formal athletic. And I feel like Prince Ajmal just has a certain swag to him, you know? Oh. Is that underwear or I can't summer and again the teens are going to be a bit more casual just because they want to have some type of normalcy before they become the monarch so he is romantic and a perfectionist and his main goal in life is to have the perfect soulmate so also Prince Baki also aged up so I'll just give you a quick little view of him isn't he cute and then I don't know that Prince Rakim has since the last episode but they're just so cute and suave and I think that even the dog Raja is getting 
older is she or is he i don't even know if it's it's a male okay no he's not too old now that i have shown you guys prince ashmal tell me what you guys think of the new makeovers for the royal kids so far and teenagers so now that we've done that the sultan and sultana are just waiting for the kids to get off to school so that they can have the king and queen of new press come over so that they can have a conversation with them because they want to know if Princess Clara would be a good candidate for Ashmal because they know she's not going to be the heir to the throne. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. They are so cute. So yeah, they're kind of just waiting for the kids to get out of there because they don't want to talk about things with them present and they don't know yet exactly how the new heir is going to take the, you know, recommendation. So look at her. She's about to go use a golden throne. Oh, why is the prince sad? body and security you'll live you're a teenager you'll live so they just need to hurry up and go to school and then we'll have them come over but yeah you guys haven't seen all that much of the oasis springs palace it is so freaking nice like i just can't imagine living in a place like this y'all like what is he doing giving himself a pep talk okay that's great yeah, go to school, all of y'all, out of here. Okay, where's the Sultana? She still hasn't paid yet, girl. It's because of this slow-ass walk. Get to it, sis. Okay, so we're going to go on ahead and have the Sultan call over the new press. So let's go on and start the gathering. They are on their way. Oh, King Fletcher caught a bike. I'm dead. Um, not Princess Anaya is sleeping, sis. Go to school. We can't have you in on this meeting. What you thought this was, girl? Only little kid that should be here is Rakim because he's too young to go to school. I got rid of that preschool mod because it was just making the kids be horrible people and not sending them to school. It was doing too much. Oh, Queen Lauren was bolting. Did y'all see that? Queen Lauren was not playing games. Okay, so she's making it up top. Why are they not at school? Sir, where are you at? Where is he at? Because he should definitely be at school. Go to... Oh, he's talking to King Fletcher. Oh my goodness, you guys. Ashmal is probably wondering, what in the world is King Fletcher doing here? We've been seeing you guys so often, so much. Why are you here? So he's probably starting to get a tad annoyed of him at this point. That's a little shookening because he was not supposed to know that they were coming. Oh my goodness, I'm gagged. Yeah, I think all of the kids were being a little bit nosy because they're wondering why the king and queen are here when it's none of their business, you know? None of their little business. Okay, so we're going to have them, I think... Oh, I was going to have them go outside on the porch, but it's a little bit too hot for that. This is going to be real interesting to see if I can get all four of them to sit down <laughs> and talk. I do not know where King Fletcher is at. You guys, I apologize if you hear some background noise. It is raining pretty heavily. I apologize. I cannot control the weather. Okay, King Fletcher is making his way up. Where is Queen Lauren? Oh, I can't. See, it's a lot harder for me to lock them into a room in this palace because everything is just an open concept okay so queen lauren's already with them great 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 let's have the sultana sit sis come on and sit she's like frozen queen lauren is just wondering hey y'all what are we doing here where's queen leona and king jared why are they not at this conversation what's the tea did something happen that we don't know about okay we're gonna pretend king fletcher is here i don't know where he went and I can't control him right now. <laughs> but this is about as good as it's going to get. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get better and better each time. I promise. But if y'all have any tips or tricks for me, leave them in the comments below. Okay, the queens are getting along great. And I'm sure that Sultana Cyrus is just like, okay, we just gonna have to get this started. So Queen Lauren is wondering like why King Jarrett and Queen Leona are not here. And Sultana's like, actually, I wanted to talk to you two about something a little bit more personal. So she is proposing the idea to them of Princess Clara being with Prince Ashmal. She's probably getting ready to go set it off on the Sultan because he needs to have his ass in here for this conversation. It's like, sir, you called them all the way over here. 
King Fletcher had to bike, okay, in the scorching hot sun with his wife. Please come talk to them. And they aren't saying much because they don't like having tough conversations, as y'all already know. Now the Sultan is talking to them about it and wondering how they feel. And it looks like they are seemingly feeling the idea. They don't seem like they're disapproving of it. They know it's kind of a tough spot to be in because since they're first generation royals, nobody forced them into marriage and the idea is kind of a little bit foreign to them. However, they know that they also have a pretty strong alliance right now as well. So they know that it would be really good for both kingdoms if Clara and Ashmal got married. So they're going to really push this on their kids, essentially. They're going to tell them like, okay, this is what's going to happen. Y'all need to get together, meet up, and get to know each other because you're most likely going to be getting married. And that way, Princess Clara would still become a queen, which is what she wanted might not have been exactly what she wanted because she wants to be the queen of new Crest, her own kingdom but she might like the idea of this so they're going to possibly sign a treaty but they're not just 100% set on it just yet. They just want to make sure, again, that the kids don't just like hate each other. They have not had many interactions with each other, Clara and Ajmal, to be quite honest. So even though their parents, oh, I'm so sorry for all these crazy angles, y'all. I'm trying. So even though the parents are great friends, the kids have not had that many interactions. So they're talking about it and they think it would be great for their kingdoms, but they want their kids to still be happy. Oh my gosh, you guys. This just randomly popped up. Should Prince Osmal invite over Princess Clara? I think so. So let's just say that or they've already talked about it. So they're going to actually end the gathering because, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So they're going to end the gathering because they don't want her parents here while she's here, you know, because that would make things kind of awkward. So they're like, okay, y'all need to go ASAP. Oh my gosh, how crazy is this? Because she is literally about to come here. I'm shook. Well, what if she doesn't come, you guys? I'm so gagged. Why are all the kids standing in each other like that? Stop it. I hope that the king and queen get out of here before Clara shows up because she's going to be like, what the heck is going on? That's going to be so wild. Okay, so they're making their way out. Good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so here is Princess Clara. She's still kind of tense. But I think that her mom must have texted her while she was talking to the Sultan and Sultana for her to find out that quick. And oh my gosh, King Fletcher is over there hoping and praying that Claire does not see him because if she sees him, it's going to get really, really interesting to say the least. So being that Clara is so tense, let's see if she is in the mood to, you know, meet a new friend. I'm so shook, she's stressed out, yikes. So I think that, let's see. Okay, she seems to be having a decent conversation. Perhaps this conversation might make Clara feel a little bit more at ease a little bit. Uh, I think it's too soon to talk about her body because he's gonna ask her about her day and you know, just try to have a pleasant conversation getting to know her. It seems like she's still pretty tense, but she's trying to kind of let loose a little bit, have a decent conversation. Maybe she's even possibly venting to him about how she's feeling. Oh my goodness, she's starting to warm up, you guys. She's starting to get a little less stressed out. That's great. I don't know if he can get her to come into the palace. It would be nice if they could come like chat in the, pa the castle the palace oh my gosh okay sit and chat here let's do that maybe she will follow okay yeah they're about to go talk on the couch right princess clara go follow him oh she's saying she can't because the door is locked okay don't you worry clara we're about to fix that oh my goodness this is so exciting okay so let's allow access to clara wait let's just unlock it for the time being lord knows we're gonna have to lock it back okay clara where you at girl is she coming did she leave? Okay, let's... Okay, she's too far away to call over. <sighs> okay, come on, Clara. You can make it up. She's super, like, out of sorts. 
still with everything going on. Okay, let's click on the couch again. Now they gotta be in an open area though because, wait a minute, why isn't it giving me that option? No, I want Claire to come up here. She's gonna leave if, okay. Well, you know what? This episode's been long enough. <laughs> So in the next episode, we'll pick up from where we left off here. So we're going to have more time to see how Clara and Ajmal interact with each other. And then we're also going to see how Prince Brayden and Lady Adeline interact with each other. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh yeah, Clara just left. She was like, I'm over this. I'm going home. This was a waste of my time. So that might have rubbed Claire the wrong way. We don't know just yet. But yeah, Ashmal is thinking about a lot. He's shook. So yeah, you guys. That is going to be it for today's episode. Stay tuned for the next week's episode. We're going to get into some teenager things. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on future content. And give me what your thoughts and opinions are on this series so far. If you have any ideas, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!